Hello friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy once again. Today we are going to discuss Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation. First step, let us understand the format. Now, the first term has x raised to n into nth derivative plus x raised to n minus 1 into n minus 1th order derivative. Then x raised to n minus 2 into n minus second order derivative and so on. It goes on till y is equal to this x. x means some function of x. Now, note one more time, interesting fact. Whatever is the power of x, same is the order of derivative. Say, for example, if it is x raised to 3, it will be d cube y by dx cube, followed by x square into d2y by dx2 plus x into dy by dx and so on. So this is the most crucial feature for identifying the Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equation. The power of x is same as the order of derivative in each term. <clears throat> the second most important thing is method. We have to put log x equal to z such that x equals to e raised to z. So wherever you see x you will write e raised to z and wherever you see log x you write z and these derivative terms x into dy by dx will be replaced by dy x square into d2y by dx2 will be replaced by d into d minus 1 into y x cube into dqy by dx cube will be replaced by d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 into y and so on where this capital D is nothing but d by dz how this comes let's see when you substitute log x in terms of z then the derivative with respect to x should also be converted in terms of derivative with respect to z for example dy by dx I can write it as dy by dx like this and I just dz over here this gives me further dy by dz now dz by dx remember what was z the z was nothing but log x so what is derivative of z with respect to x of course it is 1 by x so what I do is I shift x on other side I get x into dy by dx which is dy by dz which can be written as dy where capital D is nothing but d by dz so remember first thing identify the form of the differential equation and second follow the method Re substitute log x as z and x into dy by dx replace it by dy x square into d2y by dx2 replace it by this term x cube into dqy by dx cube replace it by this term and so on once you do the substitution it will become normal homogeneous linear differential equation note down then we'll see one example so friends look at this example it says solve this differential equation now you see the power of x is 2 and order of derivative is 2 the power of x is 1 order of derivative is 1 so x square d2y by dx2 x into dy by dx plus y equal to some function of x so it is quite clearly Cauchy's differential equation so what we do we substitute log x equal to z and that means x equal to z uh, x equals to e raised to z then what we do we replace x into dy by dx as dy x square into d2y by dx2 as d into d minus 1 on y where this capital D is nothing but d by dz so this particular term here is replaced by d into d minus 1 y minus this particular term here will be replaced by dy so 3 into dy 
plus 5y as it is sin log x remember log x was z taking y common and simplifying the terms we get this quadratic in d operating on y equal to sin z now you know how to solve this type of differential equation first thing is we equate this polynomial d to 0 and this equation is called as auxiliary equation we solve the auxiliary equation we get the roots here the roots are complex roots now if the roots of an auxiliary equation are complex then we can write complementary function as e raised to alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x so this root is complex so i have to write the complementary function as e raised to 2z into c1 cos z plus c2 sin z i hope you understand if the roots are alpha plus or minus beta i here alpha is 2 and beta is 1 so in place of alpha you see 2 in place of beta you see 1 so this is the complementary function next we have to find out particular integral you note down this next my dear friends we find the particular integral which is yp 1 by the polynomial in d operating on sin z now here z coefficient is 1 so we replace d square as negative of 1 so if I replace d square as negative of 1 this will be minus 1 plus 5 which is 4 minus 4d as it is taking 4 common I get this here coefficient of z is 1 so I have to put here d square as minus 1 but there is no d square term so I multiply and divide by 1 plus d so numerator is 1 plus t and denominator is 1 minus t square now I put d square equals to minus 1 here so it is 1 minus of minus 1 that is 2 so it is 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 1 plus t sin z this is 1 by 8 times sin z plus d sin z d sin z means derivative of sin z which is cos z now this is particular integral the complete solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp remember what was yc the complementary function which we got in equation number one earlier plus yp which is this particular integral so yc which we got from equation one plus yp which we got from equation two now remember we had substituted log x equals to z so in the final answer wherever you see z you replace that z by log x so everywhere z is replaced by log x now e raised to m into log x is equal to x raised to m using this formula e raised to 2 log x we get e raised to x square remaining part same so hope you understand Cauchy's differential equation Stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel. Next one is Legender's Differential Equation. See ya. Bye-bye.